Well, this uh, ICE TREM conference, which was uh, spread over two days and uh, covered almost all the facets of railway working and uh, the metro scene, uh, has uh, helped us uh, firm up our views on uh, several issues, whether it's the question of improved reliability or better safety standards or improvement in our services that we provide. Now, all this was uh, largely possible because of the experts that were there and the interaction uh, that generated got uh, worked out and heated up uh, with the 200 or 250 odd uh, delegates that we had. And uh, what comes out of it are some very concrete ideas which somehow uh, remain on the fringe, on the sidelines and uh, on the periphery. But now they have come in the fore. And in fact, uh, the a patron, uh, Dr. Saraswat, is particularly keen that we bring out those issues uh, in the forefront and so also the Honorable Minister for Railways and uh, our uh, Honorable Vice President of India. So uh, I'm very confident that uh, this sort of an interaction uh, will uh, help us move forward in the railways and metros and you, you know how railways are moving rapidly forward. They're, they're bringing in investments worth about 8 lakh crores and the metro revolution you know is going to see capital uh, infusion of something like 4 lakh crores over the next 5 to 7 years and there are about 20 or 30 or 35 uh, metros which are in the pipeline or in the planning stage. So all in all it was an amazing international conference and we had some world class uh, speakers who are into very specific technologies such as the maglev or uh, the composite materials or uh, artificial intelligence or, uh, well, virtual testing of uh, ruling stock. So it was a composite of so many issues and uh, we are very happy with, uh, with all what we did, right?